This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV, and we're very pleased to be joined today by Dave Hughes, the sales manager, Scania USA, and Torben Dabrowski, the global e-mobility sales development manager, Scania, to discuss Scania's new hybrid marine power solution. Um, so I understand that at the end of 2022, Scania will introduce its new electric hybrid package, the e-machine, at the Electric and Hybrid Exhibition. Can we dig right in and describe the package, uh, what components will be included, and what power ranges, target markets will it serve? The, 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 I mean, the package we're launching is, is made, for, made for making sustainable solutions easy and accessible for all our customers, current and new ones. So it's a package that we allow, where we allow customers to choose the electric or hybrid setup of their choice and still always receiving our built-in intelligence in that solution. So, so it's a hybrid and full electric offering ranging from 150 to 230 kilowatt continuous electric power then. Uh, and thing is that you get all the hardware and intelligence included. And we are in charge of making sure that you get the solution that includes all these components necessary when operating either in full electric mode and at the same time ensuring that installation interface is being as easy as today. So that goes for hardware interfaces as well as for software interfaces, of course. Here in the United States, uh, we, as mentioned, we have a really exciting time for the hybrid applications. The, the current target markets that we see and have in mind and are targeting for this uh, are the rapidly growing and advancing uh, passenger vessel market, uh, the CTV markets, uh, again, that is extremely aggressively growing currently, as well as like eco tour vessels, uh, whale watching tours, you know, off the coast of California and Alaska. Um, as I'm sure both of you have seen, there are a growing number of hybrid solutions available to vessel owners in the market. When you look at the competition and when you look at what you offer, what are the key technology differentiators for the Scania package? Some features you have within. Uh, I mean, we have a couple of clutches that are, are really some uh, making a difference for our customers, making a difference for, uh, for the redundancy when it comes to uh, having a secure uh, installation. Uh, so you can actually, uh, and that's controlled by us. Uh, you can actually, but uh, you can actually uh, run this totally diesel or full electric, and we have clutches inside that handles this. And they, the, the, either the e machine would rev up and in, clutch into the diesel machine, or or the diesel would rev up and, and clutch into the e machine. So so we have a, a very nicely done clutching system that will handle all this. Uh, automatically and seamless uh, and, and being a company that has a long history with the uh, um, transmissions uh, so this is no no news or a big deal for us to uh, invent uh, and and we see that this is something that we have that is kind of unique uh, secondly the, the interface on the machine makes it very modular and flexible so uh, currently when you have a the diesel engine, you have a SA1 interface uh, on, the, on the flywheel, uh, and you will have the same interface on the machine. So when we make this hybrid solution as a sandwich, um, you will have the same interface and, and you will recognize yourself uh, having no problem uh, installing this. And uh, with that comes even more good things, like you could add another e-machine to the machine. So you have twice the power or, or triple. So it's it's really modern and flexible, and and no and then to add to this these two two features, then also with the complete solution that we're we're offering and, and introducing, we are controlling and managing everything that it so it's actually functioning as you as you as you, uh, as you expect expected to do uh, because you will ask for some you will ask for RPM or you will ask for torque. And we will make sure that you get that from the most reliable source at the time. So you will have a, a big flexibility and we will manage everything seamlessly with our, our uh, power control unit. I think one of the things uh, I'd like to kind of add to this is, 
you know, not only is the Scania uh, hybrid solution um, kind of all under one roof, if you will, but, you know, a lot of the key differentiators are, you know, many of the current product offerings here in the United States, uh, they kind of focus on either a parallel or an inline design and really kind of focus on the redundancy aspect, as Torben had mentioned. Um, with the e-machine and the internal clutching and the technology and design that we have, that helps us provide the inline solution while still being able to ensure that the customer is going to have the redundancy, if you will, should there be an internal problem to that e-machine. Um, adding to that, the fact that it's it's a single source system versus some of the competitive offerings where you know they might be using brand X for the, the motor and brand Y for the batteries, everything is going to be single source from Scania, which is going to help more efficiently take advantage of the current Scania service network. Uh, Scania obviously offers power solutions globally across multiple transport sectors. Was this solution created from scratch specifically for marine or does its design have a legacy in other sectors? Well, I would say that uh, what we tr strive to do is to, to have a legacy all the time. So, so we, in this case, uh, the legacy from a tractor department uh, is part of this as this helps to very much to de derive outstanding quality since we're further optimizing products that are already heavily tested and verified since they're used in those applications. Um, in bringing this package from the truck sector then, can you put in perspective the work done to deliver a marinized version of the package? Uh, we were touching upon this uh, earlier, and, and marinizing in a hybrid and electric product is an investment some, uh, well, quite many companies already have done, I would say. But however, to make what, what Dave described an intelligent marine hybrid and electric solution and a, a product that uh, really has the, the full the full insight and, and the full uh, solution for our customers is something totally different. Uh, and that takes a huge effort and is, is the way we're really going. So Scania is investing heavily in electrification. And as mentioned, we're marinizing a solution where we control not only the e-machine, we control the batteries, we control the power electronics and auxiliary equipment, and we manage the whole system. So. All this then derives drives a lot of development resource, resources. And um, we will, of course, with that, make sure that we put on the market and, and whatever we put on the market is fulfilling the quality expectations our customer have, as they should have on the Scania product. Um, so you answered it in part in that question, um, again, talking about the different components of the system, but can you take, take us, uh, give us a look behind the curtain, if you will, <clears throat> to the manufacturing process, how much of this package is delivered from sources outside of Scania and where ultimately will the final package be manufactured? Well, uh, to give an answer to that one, we, uh, it's, it's still more saying that Scania is always focusing and has always focused on placing the resources where it makes the biggest difference. And that difference being focused on quality and performance, creating uptime for our customers. Um, so, I mean, that's why we have all our experts knowing, having deep knowledge uh, in different things when it comes to uh, after treatment system when it comes to combustion chambers uh, and we have invested heavily in, in having experts that knows a lot about hybrid possibilities and electric and batteries. Uh, so we have all that deep knowledge, but of course we let companies most suited for the task they do to do the job they are specialized in. But we always set the requirements to ensure that all expected quality and performance is met. So um, this is, as they uh, mentioned, a single source system and then Scania is providing the full solution in this case. We talk about the push for emission reduction daily across all of our titles. Uh, so my simple question is to you, what was the impetus to design and deliver this package now? Uh, the U.S. economy and the U.S. markets are rapidly going to alternative fuels. Some of that is being driven by uh, state and national legislation, but 
as the the focus on the environmental impact of our you know not only cargo transportation but passenger transportation and tour vessels it's becoming increasingly important to to maintain the focus that Scania has on being a leader in helping ensure that you know we reduce those emissions we make the world a greener place okay well Again, it's something uh, I've obviously I've, I've covered Scania for many, many years. Uh, so I look forward to uh, following the new solution as it enters the marketplace. And I thank you both for your time. OK, thank you, Greg. It has been uh, really interesting questions you had and uh, challenging from some point as well. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, continuing this journey. Yes, Greg, I'll definitely second that. I appreciate the time that you took today in, in helping us, you know, spread the word, if you will, on, on the extremely exciting product offering that Scotty has coming to the table.